Hello everybody, welcome to the Point of View Podcast, and today we are going to be talking about some, some, you know, variety of topics, you know, just because it's it's therapeutic, (laughs) plus I want to make this wrestling games community to be interactable, and to be, you know, just... A collective. I was drinking tea, so yeah. Now, time to test my wheel, because this might come out tomorrow, because today is is October 6th, 2019. And this might come out October 7th in the morning. To get that daily buzz. But yeah. In this podcast, my I'm gonna tell you my goals. My goals is to if I'm my guy, my goals is to make this community fun and give a variety of entertainment, such as federations or super shows or you know just collab. I'm currently watching. Like, I'm on my YouTube on the TV, so I'm currently watching a show, United Force Wrestling, UF Dub, on the TV. So I shout them out. <laughs> I'm your host, Mal. I forgot to tell you that I'm, I'm your host, Mal. As you, as you can see on the screen, my retarded ass character. I am a community college student, 18, and, like, I want to be a pro wrestler. Plus, I know I'm going to be a cruiserweight or a junior, but either way, I want to try. Also, also, um, I run two feds, well... One of them is my flagship. The other one just for the Amino. The flagship is is in a dub, nonstop action wrestling. Damn it, Cedric! You wanted to put Total in front of it, <laughs> but um, yeah. And the other one is Miss Sun Wrestling, a fed for the um for the unknown. So, I am partnering partnering with Wrestling Video Game Universe Amino only because they're some cool ass people, and I would love to give them a credit for introducing me to some of these other federations and other games that I could play. So yeah. Anyways, let's get back. So, so, so let's talk about some topics I put on my notes. Pull them up. The community. In all seriousness, the community is absolutely wild. There's barely anything. But the community, they help each other out. But sometimes they destroy each other. Like, we want, like, in all seriousness, we want the community to be a community, a place where people can just enjoy themselves without being a a snarky heel. (laughs) So my goal okay my goal is to literally make this community better. Whether it's like I don't know, just me wanting to collab with other people or me to like, you know, just enjoy a cup of wrestling. So Oh my god, I can't believe. But anyways, um the you know it's the community, right? 
I want this community to be like evolve, like to become the best community of wrestling video games. It doesn't matter if you're a part of 2K, a part of Fire Pro, or you want to go back in time and play No Mercy or Virtual Pro Wrestling. So that's why that's how I feel about the community. Like I want everybody to collab. Make your wrestlers. Give a reference to your wrestler. So we could create them and make you better in this game while you over here looking like shit in the other game. You join this one community, this one federation that, that makes you underrated and I like you a lot because you're basically a cool ass wrestler, a cool ass dude in person too. Man, I'll book you like a motherfucking champion. That's how I feel. So, let me put this up, just in case y'all, just in case y'all watching and, and, and y'all want to see a match, I can show you guys a match. But yeah, like for real, for real, it's like I want this community to be like great, great, and great. So. One thing for sure, that's a big ass referee I made. But, <laughs> but one thing for sure, as we go into community, I look to talk about cause. You know, cause, creator wrestlers or edits for Fire Pro or wrestlers for Fire Pro. But in the community, 2K community, we call them cause, Fire Pro community, we call them edits. But in this community, we call them wrestlers because they are because they have knowledge and, and they have AI, artificial intelligence. So they are nothing more than just not just a graphic moving around wrestling with another graphic. Nah, they also wrestlers, too. They're here to entertain you and they're here to stay. You, that this is a video game. I know that for sure. This is a video game, but what well, if your call, your call, or your edit, or your wrestler? Let's just, just call them wrestlers or calls. I don't know anymore. <laughs> like these pieces of artwork that you painted on a blank canvas. This artwork you made. You have us treated with with respect. I'm over here looking at the damn TV screen and this dude singing Never Let You Up, Never Let You Down, some, 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 Rick Roll my ass. But anyways. Calls or edits or wrestlers, they are a representation of us. Oh, that's how I see my my um damn creative wrestlers. There are some some of them are are, are representation of me, and some of them are just wrestlers that I just want to see in real life. Like my main wrestler that I usually have for my fire pro name, his name was Kano. He's a he's a representation of me. And then I had Tasmania, another another representation of me. And then you have JKL, which is my ego. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna push him to the moon. I'm just gonna make him actually be like an actual wrestler. Like other wrestlers I make, such as Uncle Willie or Quincy or somebody else, they are just wrestlers I already see on TV and how I, how I see them in this game. But better. Some people just make these wrestlers without any care in the world. Treat them like garbage and give them whack ass shit. I don't like that, mate. I really don't like when 
you make a cool ass wrestler, and then they get treated, then they get treated like shit, and just not basically them. Like I don't like like if you book them the way you want to book them. Okay, I could. I guess I could deal with that. But at the same time, it's like you start to see patterns with your with bookings of your character. Like, why is he being booked like to be a bitch or something like that? And then, in, in, then in your eyes, your eyes are like he's a champion. He's a future champion. But you see him constantly get losing, losing, losing. And then you realize these other wrestlers, they just there to fuck your car up. On 2K, you probably ain't probably been booked like pieces of crap. But you just don't want to say anything about it because you don't want people just to start saying that, oh, you're a control freak or something like that or some other random shit. I, I, can't, I can't say it because I don't know how to say it. That's why. That's why. Like, there's some good-ass wrestlers out there that I want to sign. And some wrestlers I see being treated like crap, and I really want to sign them just to make them like a damn champion. I'm not going to put them over my roster. But what I would do is basically, like, make them, like, competitive. PvP feds, I don't know how to say about PvP. I don't got nothing to say about PvP, PvP feds. It's like gambling to me. <laughs> but in all seriousness, all I want is basically like all I want is people to to, to treat other people's calls with respect. It's like. I don't know if I want to say this story because I don't want people because I don't want a backlash. I probably ain't gonna say it because I, if you want to know if you know if you want to know something just just DM me I'll I'll tell you the story. But like, sometimes I just don't understand other people's intentions. Like, you might see this million dollar wrestler from this one fed, and then they was booked like a freaking megastar, and then you start acting like WWE, just killing them, just killing their, 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 their momentum and talents. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Just pull them out of the damn company, and then all of a sudden, just book them like how you want them to be booked. And then if then if they want to go to other companies, then just they'll treat them like well kings. I don't know. That's probably just me, but that's probably just me just rambling and shit about how to treat other people's artwork with respect and all that shit but let's get on to this let's get on to this other topic before I start saying something stupid extreme efeds let that sink in extreme efeds right nothing wrong with them no, nothing wrong with them. They cool with me. Always wanted to see like a, always wanted to see like an extreme effect. But how you portray it is my little issue. It's like you got an extreme effect, but it's not extreme. I don't get that. Like, you could have the most extremist, 
federation ever. Well, that's just a concept. The reality is, your fare is not extreme at all. To make an extreme e fed, you have to have every match in no disqualification. No matches should be called off. Unlimited time limits. Or if you want to put pressure, you can put time limit. So they could go all kill each other, like literally kill each other. That'd be kind of fun. But Extreme Virtual Pro Wrestling is an example of they try to be extreme, but I thought differently afterwards. They're cool fed. Like I love like that fed is actually pretty cool. You know, use real people to do promos and real life skits and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. But it's not extreme. In my vision, when I saw Extreme Virtual Pro Wrestling, I thought of CZW type fed. Where this judge is going to be absolutely fucking chaotic. There are some extreme moments here or there, but not enough. Not enough for me. But that's just me. Other feds that want to claim, claim they're extreme, I want to see them be extreme. I don't want to see you have the name extreme in the name and you're just having normal ass matches. No. Here's how I, here's how I will book an extreme federation. One. Well, before I could tip well, before I start, this is also gonna be mixed in with originality and reality topic, which I which I'm gonna talk about soon. Stay tuned. But here's how but here, but here's how, how I'll book it. I start booking my matches. One. <clears throat> One. I'm going to have the schedule to be reality, to be real with you. For example, once a month. Have an event. Like, have an event once a month. Have storylines take place in between the months. Via promos, vignettes, or just something random. Two, every match will be no disqualification. Every match, a street fight, no hose bars, hardcore. It have the main event ultra violent. Two, well, wait, did I say two? Yeah, I said two. Three, every match is going to be one on one or two on two. No, not really. Let me wait. What the fuck? <laughs> this is unscripted, okay? I don't want to script my stuff because I hate scripting and I don't like the fact that I have to script myself. So I'm just going this by mine. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I will. Have I will have a show once a month. Promo is going to go in between months just to hype up the event, or or a match depending on how I feel. Then every match will be no no DQ. Every match will be no 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 qualifications. The main event of the match is going to be either a hardcore hardcore match. Ultra violent or you know the specialty matches. For example, Last Man Standing, Cage of Death, or or Hell in a Cell or Chamber or something. We can have a lot of match in the mid card, or like a TLC in the mid card, but mostly all matches are gonna be like no DQ. There will be blood. There will be some little hot sauce with the uh, stuff to be extreme quote unquote extreme but for a 2k version of it it'll be just straight up madness (laughs) 
like all matches are no hose bars, then the main event or the semi main event or or the semi semi main event is gonna be specialty matches. And booking the card will be kinda tough. But it depends. Next I mean for Fire Pro, next Fire Pro. Fire Pro does it for me. <laughs> I love Fire Pro. But like um for Fire Pro, it's gonna be like it's gonna be something a little bit different. All matches are no disqualification, you know, no ring outs, no no DQ counts, no rope breaks, run-ins could happen, criticals can happen, knockout. If you want to say, if if you if if you don't know what critical is, it's a knockout. Yes, you can knock the fuck out of your opponent with a move or a punch or a strike, a grapple. Submission or anything. Trust me. I had somebody pin me and I got knocked out by it. It was funny as hell. But um, since Fire Pro is kind of limited, we can still have specialty matches such as Last Man Standings, Cage of Death, literally Cage of Death, Cage with Weapons. Or, or I quit or something like that if you want to be, you know, more creative with the um, submission match. I should do that for, like, for, like, putting my bookings, just naming an I quit match, but to, but I put on submission or just submission, victory, give up. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, Extreme Feds. I kind of want to see them actually be extreme. Like, no hose bars. Like, fuck you. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to freaking fold. No fold zone. No fold holds. No fold hose. Foldings for hose. <laughs> but anyways. I don't want to bash on other companies. Like I'm not trying to bash on Extreme Virtual Pro Wrestling because they're pretty dope. Pretty dope. I just wish they more consistent with the episodes and not end up like me starting a federation then quit. But they have a lot of potential. They could be better. Shit. If I get 2K20, I might, I might end up making another hardcore fit. Psych, I'll make a new Japan type fed, but for real, for real, if I want to compete with with Extreme Pressure Pro Wrestling, I'm using Fire Pro because fuck the rules. <laughs> what type of fed I want to see? That's the next topic. In all seriousness, I really want to see a um straight up hardcore fed, like a death match fed. I could be, I'm, I'm, I'm patient. Like, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to be a lot, but shit. If you do on Fire Pro, shit, you got all the editing you can do. Versus 2, 2K, it's too much editing, too much cropping, all that shit. But it'll be worth it afterwards. Ah. <sighs> What other feds I want to see? I want to see a, a female fed or all females, Joshi fed to be more Pazak. A Joshi style fed, yeah. I want to see a fed like New Japan. That'd be tough. A fed like New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um. Dang, this is like, I really want to see a lot of feds. Like, there's a lot of feds I kind of want to see. Third Horizon Wrestling coming soon. I miss that company. I need, I need, I need, I need to go back to watch that company. That company sounds pretty tough. But I don't want to see a fed like WWE. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's Call of Honor. I don't know about that one. 
Like, it's nothing wrong with them. It's just the fact that Call of Honor is Call of Honor. Self-explanatory. Ring of Honor, but, but for calls. And people take 2K games seriously. I don't got a problem with that. And I do have a problem with that at the same time. <laughs> Only reason why I kind of say I do have a problem with that too is, is, is because... It's just a game, bro. It's just a game. Plus, plus, it's a hobby. We're not making money out of this joint. So, take a chill pill and just relax. Two K twenty. I'll be honest with you. I might get it, and I might not get it. I might buy the game just to get the calls and all that stuff. And just to fuck around, that's all. Nothing special about the game anyways, other than they got the fiend. I mean, I mean by the time I'm recording this, it's already hell in the cell starting right now. I should have done it, like, earlier. But my dumbass don't feel like you're doing it. <laughs> I like I put in my notes 2K20 and Fire Pro, and I don't know what else to say about them two games. They're fun. I never played 2K20, but if I do, I might make the indie ticker. But anyways, let's just let me just tell you guys something, right? When it comes down to having a personality for your cause or anything. Be original, please. And when I want to see a fed, I don't want to see real people. Like AJ Styles, Triple H, all the other extra shit. I want to see you, your call, and, and your creations, your artwork, your masterpiece. Your... Like, you're the architect of your Fed, and you need to put some originality into your Fed. Not just in 2K. Is that a fucking cat? Not just in 2K, but in Fire Pro. I want to see a Fed that is representation of you. A, a representation of your in your imagination, a, a representation of originality. You can have inspiration here or there. Nothing wrong with that. Shit, I have my inspiration. I I ask the people, and I take stuff from Duddery, New Japan, CZ Dubs, all that shit. Shit. I try to make a CW promotion on, on Fire Pro called BXW. Big big extreme wrestling. And that's just an underground promotion, the fuck. <laughs> and I and I'm and I'm still thinking about doing that. I probably won't. Nah, I'm just I'm just gonna wait till I get settled down with this company. Once I get settled down and get a rhythm, rhythm and get get all tapers up to date, I'm I might do BXW, big big extreme wrestling, an all hardcore fed, featuring the vicious and the brutalist wrestlers of all over the world. And we're just gonna have one event per month. I swear I'm hearing a cat. Or a kitten. I don't know what that is. It's like like hearing meows. Oh yeah. Pride month. June. Y'all saw the Pride show. I'm doing that again. Due to the positive response from y'all. Thank y'all. I'm doing Pride 2. Or Pride 2020. I still still need a good name for that shit. 
Pride 2 or Pride 2020. Either or, Pride is coming back. And it's going to be an extravaganza. And it's going to be a NAW official show. What that means? Well, I don't fucking know. It can mean anything. I mean, shit. It can even mean that I might end up, I don't know, doing something with the show. But one thing for sure is that, like, when I do this show, I do it with love. Because I'm part of the LGBT community, and I do this shit for love. I don't do it just because publicity. I do that shit because I want to. So, that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because, not because I need to, but just because I want to. <sighs> and the main event of that show, well, haven't decided yet. I bring back, might be a, um like, this show might be like all in, so... Yeah. Expect that. B. Alright, let's talk about... I'm gonna take this off the joint because it's not even... Because it's pointless like shit. But we're gonna talk about J.K.L.'s injury. God damn, he got fucked up. <laughs> now, let's talk about... Originality and reality. Two topics, two things that divide the divide the divide this community: originality and reality. You can have a fictional show all you want. Be fantasy; that's your choice. But sometimes you need, but sometimes you need reality. Sometimes you, sometimes well, most times you need originality too. Originality is something that we need. We don't need no bullshit. We we don't need to think that, oh, you're stealing this from this company or stealing this from me or stealing this from whatever and become a tribalism bitch. Sometimes originality can hurt you. Not you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about... The elitist. Like, you don't, like, I'm not saying do the stuff that will offend other people. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that because it's like, people get offended by everything. Like, the Joker movie that came out. And what the fuck type of ending is that? Then flip him off to and everything. And he's being in by the beat his ass too. God damn it. But anyways. It's just like how how I'ma put this. They might compare you to somebody else which sucks ass. But at the same time it's like you need to take it like a champ. Take criticism, be original, take criticism again, and think about reality. That sounds confusing, cause 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 I'm confused with you too, boo. I'm, how 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 am I supposed to put this? You have to take criticism. To be original, to be more original. Like you can be original and have inspiration or a lot of inspiration. And then, you, <sighs> then you end up copying another fucking company and people are gonna say you're not original. 
but you but you used that as 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 inspiration. My God, I'm stuttering so much. <sighs> Life is weird, you know. Like it's fucking weird. Sometimes I, I don't get myself. So I just be be retarded. Wait, but fuck me. And I forgot to, to turn off the screen. So guess what? I got spoilers also there too. Fuck you. But you, but you don't know when they're gonna debut though, so fuck you too. You don't know who's who, so fuck you back. But anyways, <laughs> Mr. 9 to 5, Damian Clare Jr. Originality, right? You can be you can be all original you want, but you got to learn how to take criticism. But with your originality, you can be original as fuck, but your reality sucks dick because it's not real. What I'm trying to say is that, like... When it comes down to your ideas, you have to imp- you have, you, you can be fantasy all you want, but sometimes that's a turn off. If you want to become a wrestling promotion, your originality has to be with reality too, because you need to learn how to be original. In real, put this in a real life standpoint, right? Put you put like a person named Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, right? The Fiend is like mankind type of thing. Like like the whole purpose of the Fiend is the Fiend is an alter ego of a human being. For example, well, like the Demon Finn Balor is basically. Finn Balor's inner demon, his alter ego, and in reality, we have alter egos, right? Right? So, when it comes down to that, you have to be thinking, like, logic. I should, I should have called this logic of, um... Logic of your original, logic of your original idea. I should name that segment that. Because if you want to be, if you want to hold a freaking good ass company, you have to be original and you have to be logical with your stuff. You can't just have somebody literally in the company that sends somebody to a fucking desert to die. And they still still employ in the company, and the person that they sent to die works for the fucking company. You will be fired, and you and you will be arrested. <laughs> you will not be here no more. You will be blacklisted like a motherfucker. <laughs> so think about that, mate. <laughs> You stole money from the company. You literally hack into the company and you stole the money. You will be arrested and you will be fired. Put my hands on your boss. You will be fired. But sometimes wrestling logic doesn't make any sense. So you just go with the flow, right? Because I have so many ideas for storylines right now for NAW. That is crazy that I'm that I'm that I'm not even doing them right now. All I gotta say is that, that I gotta crown my champions first, mate. Oh my god. How long I was doing this? Next is my thoughts. My thoughts. Let me tell you guys something about some of about some stuff I've been thinking about, right? I've been thinking about tribalism. 
tribalism that's I, I said. And I've been thinking about like what can we do better as a community? <sighs> Sometimes I lost hope in all humanity when it comes down to communities and shit. Because we've been losing a whole lot of people in the community that got turned off because of people like you, me, and everybody else. When we spit facts, when we spit reality, when we spit everything, we just lost everything. Credibility and all that stuff. But we need to literally put our shit aside, our pride and ego, and be open-minded. Because we are not open-minded people no more. We are like tribalistic bitches. We are basically like a bunch of cunts that literally... Oh my god, the footstep scares me. <laughs> I'm not alone in this house like like I should have been recording this. But our pride, our ego eat us alive. And we are not being considerate to others in this community. We must be considerate and we must be open-minded to other people's ideas and all that shit. You could be all this big, bad booty daddy you want to be, but you just, you ain't shit. I hate when people be so egotistical that their show's the best. My show's the greatest. Shit. My show is terrible. We don't got no voice promos. We don't got no commentators. We're just a shit show of simulations and other shit. I'll be honest with you. Yesterday, I was thinking about this community so badly. And then, then today, right now, I'm thinking about this community and, and, and we. I'm just like disappointed. I'm I'm disappointed. I don't have the right to say that, but that's just how I feel right now. Because I because I'm a part of this community. I'm a part of y'all. And I just want this community to be like great. Fire Pro and 2K. We can't be tribalistic bitches. We cannot be no fucking assholes to other people just because we use your freaking asset. Like, some, in, in, in both ways, we can't be stealing other people's assets without permission. But at the same time, if we're a community, we should at least be allowed to use it if we need help, we got to help each other out. You can't just be a dickhead. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, we've been real badasses, motherfucking dicks for, like, a brick, and I'm sick of it. All I want is a simple community that just help each other out. Because I really want to see somebody succeed. Like, I want to see everybody be helpful to, to each other and make each other, like, warriors. Like these two men right here. They are warriors.
you can see all the patterns all you want. You can see this, you can see that, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's about who you are inside. One bad apple can spoil the whole tree. It's not. Sometimes I I just don't get it, you know. Like I don't get how can people just be so mean. I don't get how people can be just such, like, motherfucking assholes and shit. Like we like we want to have a good community and a good like everything. But 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 people like you and people like who just be mean and be assholes and just be rude and all that shit and just leave dislikes and all the other shit shit just because it's a bad show and not give a fair criticism and not at least helping each other out to make the show better. Come on, man. We are a family. We are a team. We are a community. And we we need to make this wrestling games community the best community ever. We need to make this community better. We need to make this community a fucking success. I just wish we could all make each other like better. It's a life skill. So that's just my thoughts about everything, about the community, about all this. Like I'm really rethinking my life right now because of this shit. So, <laughs> yeah. I just wish part of me just want to help everybody but I know I can't help everybody because it's fucking pointless it's pointless to help people who who don't want to help themselves and just don't want to be like nice because people who just be a dick just because they need to go fuck themselves But that's just me, you know. Now, now, now I feel some type of way. Now I need to drink some motherfucking tea and just go to bed right now because I'm just about to, because I feel kind of, I feel a little heated and I feel a little bit of a, I don't know, something. Uh. So I'm just going to upload this podcast today. If I release it today, that's some that's some special. So I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for leaving likes and comments and supporting me and all that shit. That that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope of you. This was a I feel like this was a bad podcast today, <laughs> but I'm gonna make it better. Probably by tomorrow, it's gonna be a lot better. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm going to go, I'm probably going to upload this right now, and uh, I'm just going to do me. I might talk to, I might talk to some of y'all, because I really feel like talking to people right now, (laughs) but yeah. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, this was 
but this is brought to you by Wrestling Video Game Universe Amino and HTW and CR and CR comparative reasoning because this because comparative reasoning helped me see the world the way it is <laughs> a fucking mess. <laughs> I'm not gonna get political, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And see ya. Ciao.